guys, today we are all classic gamer here and to my brand new unboxing. I received a brand new package today early in the morning. So it's time to see what it is. It's packed very nicely, which is what I always appreciate. Is so but then again it's also going to take some time to get it unboxed has a multiple oh, this bubble wrap and also duct tape so yeah I gotta capture all that oh yep I can already see the game well the back of the game but still there it is Oh fucking yeah, I see it, let's take this way, Yakuza Dead Souls limited edition, 100% uncut, which means that there is also a cut version. This is the version I found and this is really rare because I found this locally. Usually you can't find uh, these good games here in my country locally to get and the limited editions and such they usually only get regular ones but no this one is limited and I'm honestly happy about it so here is the box when we open it here is the disc that's it and also manual and maybe there is going to be some code no no code then I guess I guess it's already on disk or the code is missing because this is a, a used version I don't really know which is the case but then again this was not really expensive and even if there are no extra DLC codes included here but that they should have been in uh, like a brand new version I don't mind this is in German here so I can't really read what it's supposed to what it's supposed to be it just says limited edition and that's that's it so this is Yakuza Dead Souls uh, often called by fans the least uh, best in the series which I don't know because I never played it, but judging by the settings, because I can see the, the game setting is uh, zombie related, I can honestly see why they say this is the, the least best, because uh, Yakuza games are not exactly your typical uh, zombie games, so I can definitely see why some uh, call it the least best uh, of the series. But still, uh, my good uh, pal Rafis told me that the game is still enjoyable for what it is, and if I like Yakuza Universe, that I should get the game. And of course, I listened to him because I indeed like uh, Yakuza Universe so far. I beat uh, Yakuza 1, I'm currently playing uh, Yakuza 2, and uh, I also have a uh, Yakuza 3, so here it is Yakuza 1, beat it. Uh, Yakuza 2, uh, by the way. This game doesn't want to work on my fat PS2 from disc, so I had to load it from a USB to play, sadly. But, oh well, I still have it for collection. Uh, Yakuza 3, I'm gonna play that when I beat Yakuza 2, uh, the first game on the PS3. Well, technically it's not the first one ever in, uh, in the Yakuza series for the PS3, because there was uh, Yakuza Kenzin, uh, but that one is a uh, spin-off. This is from the main. And now, Yakuza Dead Souls, this is a spin-off. Uh, it isn't Yakuza 4 or anything, so yeah, I'm happy that this is uncut version, which is funny because uh, the back is uh, on, on German and uh, many German games are said uh, to be always censored, so I guess that's why they put here 100% uncut, because it's rare for German, uh, game, German versions of games to be uh, uncensored, and yeah, I'm very great that, <laughs> I'm very happy that it's uh, uncensored, because censoring Yakuza is like one of the worst things that someone can do, fuck the censored version of this game, I'm glad I have uncut, and that's pretty much it. 
So now I have some Yakuza games. I'm planning to uh, soon get more because now I need to get like uh, Yakuza 4, uh, Yakuza 5 and Yakuza 0 to have uh, the complete collection of the main uh, Yakuza games uh, because yeah Yakuza 5, 4 is also uh, localized on disc so that's great I'm gonna get uh, the localized uh, PS3 version of Yakuza 4, uh, it has of course uh, English text and Japanese voices. Yakuza 5 is soon going to get localized, but sadly it's going to be digital only for uh, localization, so I'm gonna get uh, probably a Japanese import uh, disc to have it for collection and uh, get the digital localized version so I can understand game uh, better. Uh, Yakuza 0 doesn't have localization so far, but then again, even if it does have localization in the future, it's probably going to be digital only. So I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna import uh, Japanese version in the meantime. Uh, as for spin-off, there is Yakuza Kenzin, which is uh, uh, probably uh, very great because it's uh, it's in a, a medieval Japan. Like honestly, what's better than that? Uh, there is also uh, two PSP spin-offs, which uh, I don't know much about them, except that they were never released outside of Japan, and that there is another protagonist protagonist in them. So uh, I'm gonna get uh, them as well, but I don't know how well would I be able to play them, because there is so little info about them online. I couldn't find much, and uh, it it was never released outside of Japan. Uh, and also there is uh, after those two there's of course that souls which is a spin-off the only spin-off available on English because I guess the Sega probably thought that because it has zombies it appeals to a Western audience and the ones that are in, in, uh, based in Japan like uh, like medieval Japan and that the PSP spin-offs were not, of course, released because the, the PSP uh, became obsolete uh, uh, at that time in the uh, West, I think. So it didn't, it couldn't uh, like uh, make a sale, make a good sales there. So that's why they didn't do it. And as for for the the Kenzin and of course Ishin, the newest uh, spin-off uh, uh, based in medieval Japan. Well, actually, it's not, it's not medieval, but it's still uh, early, like, uh, modern period, something like that. It's it's later, of course, based when uh, compared to Kenzin. Uh, that one was also not because they think it has uh, too many uh, Japanese-related stuff, and they think uh, people would not uh, really understand it in the West, which I find fucking bullshit, because you can always do some research about Japanese culture if you don't understand something and that still shouldn't affect the overall gameplay of the game I mean, but yeah, I, I, I'm not uh, having a high hopes of those games getting released outside Japan So yeah, Japanese import for those and of course there is uh, Yakuza HD collection Which I'll gladly get to get the experience of the first two uh, Yakuza games in HD because they really deserve they also deserve a Western release, but I also think it's very unlikely to happen because we first had a PS3 version and then uh, we didn't know if that would get released or not in West. And then uh, afterwards uh, there was a Wii U version which was also Japanese exclusive and it sold really really bad even in Japan on Wii U. So I think... Uh, they're definitely not going to be localizing it in the West. Maybe digitally only in some future if uh, Yakuza 5 sales are good, but I, I don't know. I'm not getting hopes uh, too high. Well, that's pretty much for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you can get any Yakuza games when you have a chance, please do. It's amazing universe. You, would really, you will really enjoy the story and the gameplay as well. Uh, very good quality games uh, here, and see you guys later. Ciao, Tane.